wants to recap what will happen last time. Then I found some long connections that she made connections to. Shanda looks boring at a couple of conversations with the, what's her name? Spectra, the captain? Yeah, they had a long conversation about a couple of things. And Manel remembers her family and her last name. Yeah. So that's a whole thing. By himself, as I think, kind of sort of heart to heart, if I remember correctly, something like that. Like they had been a more of an understanding, I think, at least. So that happened. Yeah. Because Stavios found bits of pieces related to what the Opal Star was doing beforehand, related to the Federation, and also specifically that there was not information in the navigational logs. Or they couldn't access it, yeah. Yeah, that led to. Balance Davios being informed of basic information about what Spectra was doing, a little bit about the Federation, but she did not share much of Viant Anima's story of how they're connected to everything beyond the fact that that's where she met them and then she got them out of there because that wasn't her story to tell. Vi and Stavios are best friends now. <laughs> uh... We are closer now, yes. The look on like Alexis's face says not quite, <laughs> but not there yet. It's a step in that direction. Yes, it is a positive step was made. We also learned that Stavios, at one point in time, when visiting Peltifaria with their family, went streaking down the road with <laughs> their father's name painted on their back. And I think a mask on? What was it you were wearing? Like, they think they were wearing a mask so people wouldn't recognize them. I think so. I think so? I'm assuming. Just because they weren't caught? <laughs> yeah. Stavias tried to convince everyone to maybe do it again, and I was like, I will turn you in if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> again, because there's no reason. Yeah. The rest of their family was allowed to return if they promised to never do that again. I don't know if the dad was left back on the planet. Or on the station. You say, yeah, this is a station, not a... Well, it's a station near a planet. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so Peltivaria. So it's a city-sized space station orbiting around the planet Tavaris. The largest recreational planet in the galaxy. The station itself is operated by a number of private groups and affiliations, many of them agreeing to remain outside the supervision of the Alliance and so on and so forth, Uh, specifically the Sorium Accords, which is part of the founding of the Alliance. The station welcomes any and all types as long as they adhere to its simple set of laws. Trade is fairly open, with very little legal jurisdiction, some practices, however, such as Genocide, slavery, and similar extreme forms of business are still prohibited. Because, <laughs> yeah, you don't want genocide on your party planet, I guess. General rule of thumb. Speak for yourself. They do have a private-owned police force to have a pole that keeps the peace in the station. is structured like a ring, which has five districts and two docking stations. And there's a magnetic transport train system that runs within the ring. And that is where you are going, and I'll say you're soon to arrive there. And you're going there because you heard that was the last destination for Annabeth's family on... Did we ever name the ship? No. We need to come up with a name for that ship, because that will be relevant. What about, like, the the manticore? That's very human mythology, but... <laughs> I Manticore is fun. This is an Ashen Forge. Well, it might not have originally been the Ashen Forge ship. I don't know. We haven't delved that far, far into things. We just know the people that live on the ship. Obviously haven't delved that far into it, because I don't have a name for it. We'll get to the name when it becomes relevant to the story. But is there anything you all want to do before you get to Peltivaria? I don't think so. I think everything that I wanted to do, we did last session. Um, I think I'd like to do some more research before we get to Peltivaria. Where are you researching? 
Let's see, we're mainly there for leads on Anima's family. Maybe to see general information because I'm not sure what questions to ask. But also, since we're going there to see where Anima's family is, like, is Peltavaria a place where meetings are conducted? To where they then, like, go out to other places for work? Or, like, was her family at there for, like, did they become part of the private police force for a time? I'm not sure how to, how that would be, how that would work, though. There could be any number of reasons. They could have a job connected to theirs. They could just be going there for a bit of a vacation. They could be working with one of the private corporations that works there. There's no telling. Okay, so is there a general sort of underworld to Peltavaria, or is it mainly, I guess, on the up and up? Like, is there a lot of potential bad things we may be running into on the Shadownet side? So you're looking around on the shadow net to see what people say about the air. Yeah, like anything that may be going on so that way we're hopefully not walking into something gone wrong. Hopefully. Okay. Well, give me... I don't remember what we just... Uh, investigation, I think. Yeah, computers also sounds right. I think we used investigation when you were just using Google, not the directly Google. I rolled an 8, but... 15. With that, there's probably going to be an element of a criminal underworld everywhere. Yeah. Um, stuff like, you know, forgery, like counterfeiting schemes, little stuff like that. You don't see anything that hints at something big going on down there, either like in the future or recently. Okay. It's just, you know, there's there got to be a little bit of shady stuff everywhere. Yeah, but nothing, like, warring. There's no, like, turf wars yeah. going on. No big deals going on down there. Just, you know, it's a recreational planet. You've got a lot of, you know, like, fraud, counterfeiting, some con schemes kind of stuff going on there, but nothing that strikes you as out of the ordinary. That's what I'm about it for Vi, so... Val, you have anything you want to do? I can't remember if we had you roll to see if you were familiar with Peltavaria or not. I know Stavios did. I'm pretty sure I didn't remember. I think I rolled, but no. Yeah, it's one of those, like, you've maybe you've heard of it, but you've never been there before. Did I see what I was researching a second ago, though, or no? Uh, it would have been on her glasses. Were you researching no. alone? Okay. You may have noticed, if you were all in the same room, her put on these, either taking out or pushing up, what looks like glasses, which is odd because you've also seen her read things without it, and it looks like she's just looking through the glasses. They've got some kind of tinting going on, yes. so um, no one can see. It's, it's kind of almost like a one-way mirror. No one can see. What's going on on the other side? Those were a very nice custom job. Which actually, Bell, do you want to roll lore? See if you've seen tech like this before. Ten, probably not. He's not too up to the other technology technology aspect, but he he knows there's something that he doesn't understand. He's like he just accepts it. It's like, yep, technology's a thing. Gotcha. Might be a moment of. Those are nice style of sunglasses. They remind me of something I've seen before, but eh. Move on. Technology. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah. And Anima. Is there anything you want to do in the hour before you arrive at Peltavaria? Anima is getting sort of increasingly nervous. Understandable. Yeah. Uh, she'll like, sit down and then, like, start getting twitchy sitting down, and then we'll stand up and start pacing and then sit down again. Just a lot of real nervous energy going on over there. Nothing productive is happening, she's just having a minor freak out. Are you doing this in public or in your room? I mean, y'all could just be hanging out in the mess hall or the library or the game room. <laughs> yeah, we whatever. could just be... Somewhere. It's just wherever. If you're in different locations, you'll 
see like anima like pass by the room for a second and then like walk back by going somewhere and then she comes back the other direction and you're like you good is everything okay anima you seem to be pacing back and forth just wondering i mean you might like you, you might be doing something but i just I, i've seen you come back here like five times and i don't know is everything okay I mean, nothing's wrong. It's just, you know, it's been a long time, and I don't know. Are you ready? I mean, it can be a, on your time, too, so... Well, I mean, we're already almost there, and, like, we've all gone out of our way, and I'm sure everyone has much more productive things to do, but instead, we're here for me. Exactly, though, but this is for you, so... Mm. So make sure that you're ready. It's okay. Just saying it's okay. If not, I mean, family can be tricky, especially when reconnecting after a while. So I don't know. But just either either way. I'm not saying it's if you don't want to. That's not bad. If you do, you know we'll have your back. So whatever happens, you're gonna make it through. Just saying. It's not even that I don't want to. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. And I don't even know why. It makes sense, though, because I mean, it's kind of the unknown, you know? Like, you know them, but you don't know them, know them. And so, it seems like it's my, maybe it's that fear, just like, you know, who who are they? Which is fair. You haven't really, I mean, it's like you said, it's been a, a little while, so. And I'm sure they're probably feeling the same way, too. So. <laughs> not wrong to feel that way at all. But, like, no notice. That, I mean, they, I don't think they really know that I'm coming. I haven't contacted them. I don't have a way to right now. Well, so surprise them reunions. Those are always good, too, you know. Please. Yeah, you don't remember how to get into whatever email address you last had. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Well, this, this, is a, this is a good thing, though. That means we can kind of go subtly in there. If you want, one of us are, I'm sure... But I can scout in there without anyone knowing that they were even in the vicinity of the area. So you can always send them scout out first just to see how things are, to get a vibe. And then pretty good at sneaking myself too. So if you need me to kind of head forth, I mean, again, it's up to you. Stavios can walk in from behind and be like, I can also peer into their minds and tell you their weaknesses there's one thing that I've learned from family it's that it's best to know what their weakness is going into a conversation so you have leverage oh my I'll put some figure and just put it down just well I think we have different family experiences fairy <laughs> yeah. yeah just a little bit just, just a little bit not much <laughs> Stavios is stunned done that people have healthy relationships with their family, potentially. You have a good relationship with your mom. Yeah, but, like, through, like, letters and stuff. It's been a while, it's been a long time since I've, like, spoken to her. Yeah. That's okay. We can focus on that next, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a good point, though. I mean, you haven't visited your family either. That's maybe that's a good kickstart. So do Anima first, and maybe Salvias. You can um, we can cross that bridge. Maybe just skip the dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. The dad. Accidentally yeah, have the dad mean... fall into a black mm. hole. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are yeah. you here too now? <laughs> <laughs> Vi is just suddenly in the doorway. <laughs> yeah, Vi snuck in. No one noticed. <laughs> Vi has been here for five minutes. Uh, Val, Val, like I, I told you, see? I can just sneak in. They will never know the difference. <laughs> Anima, I, I remember you saying that you had concerns because you're not the exact same person that you were when you were last in contact with them. Is this... Do you think that this may be part of the issue? Mm. 
Maybe. Oh, I mean, I'm sure I like you as you are. I mean, and you're an excellent individual, so I can't see them. So what if you might be a little bit different? I mean, you're still a good person. That's in, from what you've told us of the memories you had. You were a good person then, and you're definitely a good person now. So there may be surprises that they would have to get used to, but I mean, or you'd have to get used to it then, because they've probably changed. I just... Realm trusted me to bring me and be a part of Clan Marvala, and I just don't want to disappoint them. Maybe? I think? I know all about disappointing families, trust me on that, but you're not going to do that, though. The way you are, no. I don't see it. And if they do that, that's that's on them. Yeah, I mean, you you still protect people, you, you still help people, so they... But also, what if they want me to stay? What do I do then? That's your decision, that's up to you, Anima. I mean, if you feel that you want to stay, you just say that you can't. I mean, yeah, that that decision's up to you. If Even if you wanted to spend maybe a shorter time with them and then see how that goes or something, we can... And vice versa. If you don't, if they ask you to say you don't want to, you yeah, don't have to it's... either. Vice versa. I mean, family's family, but they can't tell you what you do with your life because it's your life, not theirs. So... Yeah. Right. Maybe they'll be able to help fill in that giant question mark around how you got from point A to point B. God? <laughs> <laughs> I've been called many things. God is not one of them. I know. <laughs> you realize it was Nell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Anima, is it alright if I give you a hug? I... If, if you don't want one, that's fine. I just... Yeah. Stavyask says, Group give hug! Maya hug! And then wraps oh, yeah. their arms around both of you. Come in here, Val! Come on! Val's gonna be on the outside. He's gonna squeeze all of them and lift all of you guys up. Because he's, oh. he's swole like that, so... You know, <laughs> and a big, like, Madakai hug. So... <laughs> and your spines get realigned. You hear a soft <laughs> noise like someone just took a picture. <laughs> Except for there's no one in the room. I want that framed in my room. <laughs> Done. No, you're not going to put that anywhere, right? Where, where we can track those pictures, right? No one can... You're not going to put that anywhere to be possibly traced, right? Of course not. It is only for the ship's internal <laughs> records. No one can know we like each okay, other. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Well, no. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's it. Exactly. I was only executing my happy memories protocol. <laughs> so does that mean that there is a sort of photo album, whether virtual or physical, but with virtual pictures on it somewhere now? Yes, it is in my systems. Only accessible within the ship. As long as it's not getting on anywhere else. Good, 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 good. Tally is currently squeeing. <laughs> is it at a volume we can hear or is it transcended that it is higher than most organic ears are able to recognize when you take these pictures do you always make that sound when you when you do or you know ne never mind you know i'm not gonna worry about it it's fine I added the audio effect so that it is not a surprise when it happens and people know when I am recording happy moments. Added. Okay, well, as long as you they don't get put out anywhere else, take as many photos as you like. No one's questioning why Spectre gave her AI this program. Okay. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm assuming... Okay, so I, I think Vi is like... Now, for more suspicious things that may need recording, that is that what this was originally for? And you don't use the noise for that type of protocol, or? 
Well, that is a different protocol. The Happy Memories Protocol Spectra borrowed from being on her parents' ship. That must be a lot of photos on that original protocol, then. It is. She only moved a small selection to my memory banks. Mm. Okay. And the photos are, of course, shared on the account, shared to the accounts of all people involved. You check your email. There is the picture. It gives a good angle too. I'm going to make so many scrapbooks. But yeah, let us know if you would like to do run a, run a, some um, reconnaissance for you. And if not, that's all right as well. If I just sort of leave it at that. No, that's fine. That's okay. Well, if there's any trouble, Bell puts on his hammer like, you know, I won't take him out, but, you know, if someone needs to get knocked out, I'm just saying, yeah. So we'll see. Hopefully it won't come to that. Just hammer appears out of nowhere. The vibe just kind of like, or disappeared, but... Right, so... The rest of that hour passes, and Spectre lets you know when you will be soon approaching, and as you go up to the helm, she has... So, the front of the ship has windows, but the windows appear a little bigger than they used to. They're wider, so you can see more of the space around this station, which is a ring orbiting this planet that looks like it's full of life and as you're pulling closer into the station and it takes a minute to dock because it's busier than any place you have been for Vi and Anima. About Staviasi, you've been in busy places before so this isn't as odd for the two of you but there's a bit of a delay in the docking procedure because of course things are always a little bit behind. It's kind of maybe a busy season or something, but you're able to get docked and Spectre's like, well, welcome to Pal Tavaria. I would be joining you for whatever you're going to be doing, but unfortunately, well, not exactly unfortunate. There's some um, pirate core people here. Captain's meeting to Discussing things like logistics for patrols and how to deal with some recent gangs that are trying to be problematic across different areas and some new captains looking to join, so on and so forth. It's going to be a lot more boring than it sounds, but it's something I'm going to need to attend to. But if you all need anything, just send one of us a message. Didn't you say there is a large cavalcade coming up or a large meeting? Uh, the, the conclave is going to be a different meeting later. This is more of a meeting of the captains. Ah. And it's not all of them just in this area, and I'm still trying to catch up on things that have changed over the past five years. Because she was in the Federation for five years, and she's so happy to not be there anymore. It sucked. So are we all. Also, I'll say, over the past couple of days, her eyes have been more of a green color, but today they look a little more blue. Which, by an animal, you're used to the fact that her eyes shift color sometimes. Enjoy your visit and try not to get in too much trouble, please. I would never get in trouble here. Again. She was giving you a look before you said the again <laughs> bit. <laughs> And I am allowed to be here. Legally. Yeah, you specifically weren't banned. Because <laughs> they didn't know it was you. <laughs> yeah, but did, did they say we were going to meet us at a certain area? It's one of those will be in a meeting for a bit. They'll call, she'll contact you when the meeting's over and just... There's places to explore nearby. She knows that y'all are looking for something in particular, so. I'll say Tali, she's like, oh, um, Anna, here. I... And she sends you some information on places to start looking to find the ship, because there's a lot of ships here. And 
one of the things that you notice as you disembark is there's another area farther down and there's a sleek and shiny star cruiser taking up most of the bay area it's surrounded by security drake teams lots of reporters with camera drones and a sign is hanging above the ship and it says introducing the hyperlance what do y'all do um i would like to keep the group in shouting distance or like where i can glance back at them but i think i would go closer to the group to see what the hyperlance is so i would follow behind because I'm also curious as to what the hyperlance is. I'm going to look at what Tali gave me. Alright, and Bao, what are you doing? I'll probably stay back um, with um, Anima for the moment. Just kind of keep it on everybody. Alright, so, so we'll start with Vi and Stavius. As you move closer, you hear people chattering. This is Supposedly it's an experimental passenger transport for long distances and talk about it's supposed to have state-of-the-art navigation and life support systems. It's it's pretty fancy cutting-edge new tech and they might be testing it soon. Hmm. So when you say long distance transport, what distance? Because like from the ship, from the station to the planet would be considered short distance, right? Or is that what they're talking about? You know the bullet trains? Yes. It's supposed to cover long distances fast? Yes. This is something akin to that. Because okay. there are ways to um, have the faster than the night travel connected to crucibles, mm-hmm. but this would be something, this is a different kind of technology that allows for people who to use outside of the normal jump lanes. Okay. So it's just a new way to get around space. And it'd be for um, larger groups of people, because not everyone has a ship like the Opal Star, which was experimental in its own day. But it's been a while. It's also had a lot of upgrades since then. Like, a lot of upgrades. When you have Lex as your engineer... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So... Is there any mention of, is it sort of like a random drawing thing for the first passengers to be on there? Is it a group that's already selected? That's a good question. With something like this, I imagine they would have to have some sort of system of how they decide. So it's not just going to be random selection as much as they have to like vet people and make sure because experimental it's going to be its first trip you need to like keep an eye out for certain factors that could lead to issues in something like this so it could be some people are waiting to hear if they got in they did through the final part of the selection process you know there's also a couple of people who you could just tell by what they're yammering about Mm -hmm. they just want to see the cool new tech okay so there's a lot of people excited about it because this is pretty cool and there's at least one person who's just obsessed with spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> like a car guy? Yeah. You could probably see, like, a couple of people in their group just, like, sketching the ship. Because it, it's pretty. It's a pretty ship. It's also a lot bigger than some of the other ships you've seen. On the off chance, is there any mention of the Marvala clan related to, like, the security or... Anything I'd recognize, maybe? That may be a long shot. Roll me... Just a straight d20. Oh, okay. Is there any way that I could, like, add an assist so that I gets advantage? Ooh, five. (laughs) So, no. As you're listening, you don't hear anything mentioned about specifically, like, who is involved in security and so forth. They're not sharing a lot of the security plans, because stuff like this, you don't share a lot of your security plans details with the general public, because pirates might be in the crowd. (laughs) This kind of advanced tech, you don't share all the details, because either there's going to be really smart people that try and hijack it, or really stupid people that still try and hijack it. (laughs) Yeah both are very problematic. 
very simple security rule of you are protecting a thing that is very large, expensive, and experimental. You don't tell everyone how you're prote how you're protecting it. Okay. There might be talks about like security features and stuff for like internal to keep people inside of the ship safe and yeah. so on and so forth. Okay. But not how the security personnel are being maintained around this first test flight. Well, first commercial test flight. They have lots of testing. You don't just oh. first time testing a ship. <laughs> hey, let's stick a bunch of civilians yeah. on board. It may or may not explode. It's fine. We have smart people working on this. Are there any Ashen Guard security personnel there that I may be able to try to take pictures of with her glasses to show Anima and be like, hey, do you recognize these people? Yeah, I'll say there's, there's some. There's also Matakai and Promethean human cash. There's a little bit of everything. Roll sleight of hand. Oh no. <laughs> sleight of hand. Well, I have plus three. Okay, 13. They don't have to be great pictures, but... <laughs> You take a couple before you notice, because you have a pretty high passive perception, that mm -hmm. one of the guards is noticed and they're not entirely- and they're a little suspicious of someone taking a picture of the security personnel. I'll stop at that point. Yeah, you realize if you keep going, you will very much look like someone who is trying to pull something. And that is not- yeah, Vi's not planning on doing that today. Okay. Today. So that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then we will pan back over to Anima and Val. Anima, as you are looking, Tali has included the different places where, like, ships and stuff register information. It's a bit of a long shot. She might know the name of someone there that you can talk to. But she also mentions a couple of areas where sometimes captains and people working in crews, like, you're family would be where they would go and hang out with different with different things that are going on. Okay. Couple of like starship captains, bars and all that jazz. And Val, I guess are you just kinda looking around and so on? I just kinda keep low profile. As you're looking around you spot a familiar face. Cause this person is not trying to be sneaky. It's Someone you knew from way back when. Val or Anima? Val. And do what? So do they notice me? Because I would say, I stupidly did not put any kind of cloak on. <laughs> do they notice me? Is that, is that what the thing is? Yeah. It looks like they've noticed you, and they are not trying to hide their presence. Just, Would you like to roll lore to see how, how well and what you remember about this person? And I will give you some advantage. You know what I would do then if I even had an inkling that I knew somebody, I'm not gonna think anything good of it, so I'm gonna try to lead Anima just like, oh, maybe we should try over here and try to just kind of walk like away. Do you want to roll to see what you remember about them? Like, yeah, y'all go and roll, but either way, he's still gonna at the five. So, yeah, I'm going to guide Anima like, hey, uh, I'm not pretty sure if I'm gonna say much. <laughs> We should. I think we. I think it's just your family over this way. Um, I, I think. I think they're right over here. He's walking this way. I think they're right there. I'm not. You can tell if I'm roll wrong. But I think they're right over there. Yeah. That, or roll deception. Yeah, deception. I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I think um, your family. They said they. Um, they're. Uh, you know. They're. They're. They're cast, right. Yeah. I think that's. Um, <laughs> You don't even have to roll. <laughs> Val is lying. <laughs> he Badly. is intentionally trying to get you away from something. You good? I got it. I'm, and I'm just going to be real with you because mm -hmm. Val's going to know he's like a terrible liar. He's learned from Stop. He also knows that he's not that good. So <laughs> he's going to be like, um, yeah, there's um, someone I kind of recognize and it can't be a good thing if I recognize him from my past. Let's just say it's probably not the best. So, if we can, go to a different area, maybe find the rest of the group, and just kind of, um, yeah. You see about it's gonna look, and just kind of 
<laughs> Do you want to roll insight on the person that you saw? I mean, I, I can. I just want to get out. <laughs> just to see what vibe you got from them? 18. Okay. Vibe check. With that, this doesn't strike you as a dangerous person at all. If anything, it would have been someone you know that was associated with, with kind of like a more petty crime. Because sometimes people get into, like, petty, only slightly sketchy, doesn't actually really harm anyone crime. When they are in debt to someone and need, like, money to pay off whatever loan or something. So this isn't a dangerous person. He wasn't associated with certain events. Probably just, like, kind of knew him in passing, maybe assisted with a couple of jobs, but... Not a particularly dangerous individual. And he seems to be... Actually, roll perception. I don't know if you would notice this. Or Anma, do you want? Are you gonna try and see if you can figure out who he's avoiding, or what are you doing? I don't know. I think I may be. Well, he said maybe try and find the others. So I think I'm looking for the others for everybody else. All right. So roll for investigation to find the group. Perception fourteen. Yes. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> They're gone. I'm looking in the wrong direction. I got a one. <laughs> Can I just say that we're all really killing it today? Off strong, baby. We are killing it. You know what? You don't see them because you get very quickly distracted by something. Oh no! You catch sight of a ship, and for a split second, you're like, wait, I know that one. And you're like, wait, no. And it's, it's, you quickly realize that's, that's not the ship you're looking for. It looks similar, but there was just a split second where you thought, where it's, you thought you saw the ship that you called home for so many years before that big black hole in your brain happened. So now Anima is distracted. Oh yeah, super distracted. And how do you react? Everything Val is saying, gone. The the end of that. I am back on track and I am not paying attention to anything else. I am going to go find the ship. The right ship. Alright, so Val. I'm following suit. I'll just follow be like, okay, well, at least we're getting out of here, so... <laughs> That works for Val. He's like, well, we're getting out of here. Yep. You're just gonna leave the chaos gremlins be. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Bye, Stavios. What are y'all doing? Well, Anima's going off to examine all the other ships that are in the stocking port. Which is a lot. <laughs> I mean... I want to find a way to steal the schematics of this hyperlance, but I know that's impossible to do. Wow, we're gonna we're gonna rest it. <laughs> if I can streak down in the middle of the road, in the middle of a very public area, and not get caught, I think I can steal some schematic. Do, do they say that out loud? Um, Stavios, can can you just roll me just a stealth check as you're sitting there thinking about that? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody trying to read my thoughts? No. Not someone trying to read your thoughts. Just, just roll me a stealth check to see how, how well you. Yeah, just, just, just roll me a stealth check. Can't be as bad as the time in the forest with Stavis in the bags on the on their feet. It can't be that bad. <laughs> oh, crinkle, you crinkle, say that crinkle, now. Crinkle. So, how would a four <laughs> play out in this scenario? Yo, yo, <laughs> yep. Not well. Not well at all. So, Vi, what are you doing? Well, Stavios is contemplating theft. Vi was just kind of curious, but now that she knows what that thing is enough for maybe a potential cover, or just for information, and she got almost found out about taking pictures of the Ashen Guard to see if Anima, if, like, her family's there on a job for that. She's just kind of 
ready to leave. <laughs> I think she's like trying to turn away, turn and look for Anima and Bal, and it's just like why are they moving away? And just sort of texts them and is like, did something happen? No. Where are y'all going? At the dot question mark. Anima on the on the chase may have found who they're looking for? Question mark. Bell texts terribly, so you see kind of like, you know, you get them like all kind of broken up. Like someone's first time trying to use like a, like a, self, like a smartphone trying to text. So you, you get that eventually. You get all that. It's hard when you have like big Manakai like claws, so it's, it's a little tricky. Okay, so I think Vi's taken a few steps away. I mean, she probably knew Stavios was there, but she may mental missive them, being like, hey, I'm gonna rejoin the group. Let me know when you're done. I'm stealing what you're stealing. I mean, Vi doesn't know that they're stealing something unless they said that out loud. <laughs> I did not say it out loud. I did not Good. say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> that four, though, you may want to be sure you didn't. That might not matter, though, because I don't like what I had to roll earlier. Yeah, so while Vi is turned away and trying to figure out what's going on, Stavia, someone comes up to next to you. It's just this nondescript looking, looking cash individual slips something into your pocket and says, You seem mighty interested in this ship. This is in your head. They're just standing next to you, completely calm posture, like they're just watching what's going on. Can I do any kind of insight check? Any kind of... Can I pick up any vibe from this person? Roll me an insight check. Okay, I've got good insight, though. This should be fine. I'm going to use a different die, though. Okay, that's a little better. That's a 16. Okay, so you pick up this person seems alert, like they're watching the crown for signs of something, perhaps looking for whatever signs you were giving off while you were sincerely contemplating the information theft. And they also hold themselves like they've had some sort of like military or officer type training. Like they might be involved in the police outfit here. Mm-hmm. We're gonna prison. Or <laughs> <laughs> <Where> the Stavios is. <laughs> so, Stavios, what do you say in response? I'll say, you don't get the vibe like he's about to arrest you. <laughs> if there's one thing that my mom always taught me, my real life mom, it's if someone seems like a cop, they are a cop. So, I say, are you a cop? In my, like, mentally. Because I, I, I have to love it. You hear back in your head, I'm a special agent with Tavapo, my name is Tarko, and I was wondering if you could help with you with something. What kind of something? One of my informants has some information from me, but it seems that a local gang found out about it, and I need you, if you're interested, to go and get it for me. Could I potentially bring along a team of street toughs to come along with me? As long as you don't make too much of a mess of things, I wouldn't have to be asking someone to do this, but can't exactly have the information transmitted because there might be spies watching that. We are not in the business of making messes, believe you me. Yes, we will. Yeah, I can help you with this. He just subtly nods. There's like someone talking up somewhere. You can like barely hear what they're saying. Just talking about what this new hyperlance means. And it kind of looks like he's nodding along with that. I dropped something in there that'll let you get the information we need. Just be careful. Uh, careful is my second middle name. Like, I'm not asking you to do this for free. There will, of course, be a reward if you go to the Eclipse, which is in the Entertainment District. Take that data pad and give it to the club's owner, Rona. Don't tell anyone else and don't trust anyone else once you have the information. And I'll send you more information once 
on where to meet up after you get it. You feel a little ping on your sim unit and you have a conversation started with him. Okay. You got it. I appreciate your help and he disappears into the crowd. I get up and I immediately go back to the group. I think Vi is like just standing a few feet away maybe. Yeah. Which Vi, you probably, you, you would have spotted that someone came to like kind of like stand next to Stavios, but you're in a cr- pretty decently crowded area. Okay. And so Stavios, what you gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna tell everybody about it. Well, I'm gonna tell Vi about it first. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Vi about it, and I'm gonna tell, and then once we get back to the group, I'm gonna talk to, um, Val and Anima about it too. Of course, it's only being communicated telepathically. I'm not saying anything about this out loud. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna ask that. Staring at people for awkwardly long periods of time. It's a fun thing about brain- mental conversations, it just involves a lot of awkward staring. <laughs> We don't have to stare at them when you're necessarily doing it, though. We can kind of look off into space for it, I assume. Or do you have to stare at You have to look at them to do telepathy. So I, feel like- I don't know. Does it, does it require a line of sight? I mean, you have peripherals. No, because you can talk to someone, at least mental missive, you can talk to them th- a certain amount of material. Like, I, I was able to speak to someone on the side of a wall. So, no. Yeah. Either mental missive or intercom or comms. There's multiple ways to communicate with people on the Opal Star, and when you were on the Jaeger, you could communicate with anyone because that was a small ship. Basically, I have expert telepath, so I can telepathically communicate with any creature that I can see within 30 feet of me, and then once I get to level 8, I'll be able to communicate with anybody within 60 feet of me that I can see. So, as long as I can, like, see you I should, I'm able to just do it. Kind of relay that information to Vi as I walk up to join her. I kind of tap my pocket to show that, like, there's something that was dropped in my pocket that has to do with this information. (laughs) Okay, so Vi sort of turns around as you're relaying this and gives you a look and is like, you... Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. So... A random person found you, said they were from private police, Tavapol, and you are the person they selected to complete this very secure, very dangerous, or not dangerous, but this sort of high stakes information gathering and then drop off? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can I roll, like, insight on this to be, like, this sounds very suspicious? <laughs> I will add, they were also worried about spies and... I forgot to mention, they were also... He might have mentioned he was worried that they were spies within, like, his area, which is why they had to go to outsiders. Hmm. I think Vi's also thinking, they could be using you as a scapegoat, Stavias. <laughs> Yeah, give me that insight. I don't know about this. Insight. Oh, 26! Oh. Jeez. I have mastery in insight. Absolutely using Stavios as a scapegoat. You were able to see, like, the person in question. Whoever was after the information that they're most likely part of the group that they said is after the information, trying to use Stavia to steal the inf- whatever information there is. Oh, also, this is not something you send just one person to do if you're picking random people out of a crowd. Okay. Oh boy. So there might be other people. Okay. Going after this information. But you have an advantage of whoever this person was doesn't know y'all that you know he's full of shit. Okay. You sort of hear a, a sigh mentally from Vi, and you get the impression that she's tr- that she's preventing like face palming <laughs> reaction to this. 
stuff, yes. I... okay. Alright, so... I have a good amount of experience with people like this. They... He was lying, first of all, about... He was most likely just lying, or corrupt, about being from the... was Tavapole? And so... I almost said Tadpole, so... <laughs> I've almost said that a couple of times, too. That's probably a nickname that they do not appreciate, but <laughs> yeah. people call them Tadpole. The fact that someone, instead of using anyone that was trained, they picked a random person in a crowd is very suspicious. And I've had colleagues who have, um, former colleagues, I should say, who performed this sort of stunt before. So, it's definitely a lie. They're trying to make you the scapegoat, or all of us the scapegoat, and they probably didn't only select you for it. So now, we have a bit of a problem. Well, I mean, if we get this information that they want, and then we just keep it, then we can use it as leverage. Leverage against who? For what purpose? Um, leverage against whoever this nefarious group is in case they want to, I don't know, kill me after this is over. I mean, they're probably gonna either want you in prison or dead. So, but since they're willing to make a scapegoat, they're probably smart enough to hire an assassin for that. Oh, well. Also, <clears throat> brief panning back to the other group... As much as you search, you don't find the ship on the, in this docking area. So I'll say, like, you, you looked and you asked around, and it's it's not in this area. I'll say you'll probably maybe head back and come up right as Vi says that. And mentally, it's mental. It's not. You just see them staring at each other, and Vi looks exasperated. Yeah, I think Vi would have maybe messaged, we have a problem. <laughs> Oh, good. When don't we? Val would have been in his rig and kind of pulled up like in what looks like a kind of a coat, like hood over his head. Because I can hide my rig. And I'm at Val, you come back as Vi is um, mentally explaining to Stavios what's going on, and you just see them staring at each other. Stavios, what did you do? I think we may need to talk about this in a secure location. I haven't done anything yet. You also don't know how long before other people are going to move on this information, what it is, or what's going to happen when they get it. Listen, information is information. You have a small window where you have the element of surprise or advantage before it just gets out of control. I say we jump on this, we grab this information, which is obviously valuable, and then... We keep it from someone. But why are we here? Are we here for information? Or are we here for... Just looks at him, but doesn't say, just looks at him up. I'm just asking, why are we here? It's called multitasking, Val. Vi, have you, in, have you filled in Anima on the details of what's going on? Yeah, I would say that, yeah. Mental missive. So now, Anima, you know. And bow when, yeah, like trying to <laughs> be like, hey, paragraph of information now in your heads. <laughs> if we have time after we're helping Anima, then sure, but we came in for a reason. Let's get that done first. That's why I'll look sketchy over his shoulder, make sure no one's looking. Just real quick. Anima, what do you say? Or if you, would you like to roll insight or roll something on the situation, or? I would actually like to roll perception to see if I can find a real... You two, now you just got tadpole stuck in my head. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, for all you know, that dude actually was Tavapole, but he could still be dirty. Yeah. Tavapole. I mean, whatever. Either a real Tavapole or, like, God, I don't know. We could just drop it off with authority figure and let it be. We don't have to get involved in everything. I, I think Vi will say this verbally. 
Yeah, we need to be careful with who we can trust because if they were truthful about their uh, place of employ, then they probably have others who are on their side. Or we say nothing about that. We go, hey, we found this lost thing. Here it is. We found a lost thing. Do y'all have, like, a lost and found? Because here's a lost thing. Can you find a way to get it back to its owner or whatever? I don't know. And just not worry about it. Hey, do you want to give me that perception check? Me? Yeah. Yeah. 18 plus 6. 24. Okay, thank you. There we go. Okay. As you say that, you kind of scan the crowd and you see there's like five other people who look like they like are like checking out something in their pocket talking to people. These seem like very not entirely trustworthy people. Some of them also look like they're just completely clueless, like they totally bought into everything. And you also catch the sight of Cash Man just slipping something into someone's pocket and nodding and then disappearing into the you also catch there's two tufts that are not in the crowd, distance away. They're watching you. Fine, okay. And the dude definitely had a tap of pole on his jacket. So we're not doing it. I was like, oh, were we? Did I actually make Anima swear? <laughs> Yeah, no, Anima curses in Dindis. I don't know if anyone else can speak Dindis that's in the group right now. Nope. Um, no. I mean, can we get from, like, the tone that it's... <laughs> yeah. I say, like, the gist of it. Like... I mean, context clues. Yeah. <laughs> you probably know, like, how to ask some, like, basic stuff in Dindis. Like, where's the bathroom? Where do I find this? And But did that what that is not something that you've been taught. I speak Dindis. Oh, cool. Oh? You caught that. You know exactly what Anima said. Anima just swore. I did not think you could do that. Not in like a weird way, I just felt like you were against saying... Anyway, I'm sorry, I was just delighted by that. You could stay here talking about it or you could go do something. We're being watched. Oh, great. So, let's, let's find somewhere more secure and look at this thing. Okay? I mental Miss of Stavias asking, did the person give us you a specific time to go to the um, club? Or are we to go, do they need to, you to go there right now? I believe it was just as soon as possible, make my way over there. Tone of urgency, no specifics. Yeah, it was like urgent, but not specific. So it's like a first come, first serve. Yeah, they don't want to give people time, too much time to think about things. Well, if we don't do it, then we don't do it. And if we don't do it, one of them will. So, fine, whatever. Is that a, a bad thing, though? I mean, if they, someone else does it, I mean, well... Then they're gonna set up to take the fall. How many people are watching this anima? How many people? How many people? Three? I wanna use um impedance. And so a pack of micro drones, I'm gonna kinda of just pat my um pat my chest. Micro drones, like you know, probably like you know, almost looks like just dust kind of floats off. I'm gonna I can distract it to three creatures, so if anima can just kinda of like just kinda of nonchalantly kinda of just point their direction, they'll be distracted. They must make a wisdom saving throw for the duration. Any target that fails the saving roll suffers a negative two penalty to all attack rolls and saving throws. But I just want to use it to distract them, so, yeah. Anima, can you roll? How are you going to direct them? Point them out without pointing them out, if that makes sense. You know, I'm not above cleaning up my own messes, so I could go do this and you guys could do something else. I no. believe it or not, but no, no, believe it or not, I am very capable of myself, especially here. Stavios, not that 
that I personally don't have faith that you can because I, I know you you can march your way out of anything. I've seen you handle some crazy situations, but I think in this situation it was us definitely better together. And as your former bodyguard, I had to definitely be against that. So I guess I'm going to have to veto that and say no. Anima, most of the people that you spotted who also had devices are leaving or have left. People are moving fast. I, y'all don't have... Stavios just turns to go. You'll have to take a train to the entertainment district, but yeah. You know where to go. I was waiting on Anima's decision, so... Fine, we're going. Let's go. I literally, I literally, as I'm walking away, just telepathically, as I'm kind of moving away from the group, don't follow me. Do something else. If I need help, I'll get. I'll find a way to get in contact with you all. But we don't know what this is. Let me just go do it. I made the mess. I'll clean it up. What do y'all do? We don't have animals respond. So, as Stavios is walking towards the train, I'm not gonna let him go. I'm not gonna let them go it alone. Come on. So y'all load up onto the train. Do you want to do anything with the device, or...? No, I'm going to keep it in my pocket, because we're in a public area, so I don't want to pull something out that could be suspicious. Probably a good call. Is there, like, a sort of perception or insight check that I can do to try to see who is maybe in on this, too, so I can sort of mark them, and if they perception to see anyone that looks vaguely shifty. Yes. Okay, that's that's not too great. Fifteen. You might spot, like, one or two of the other people who also seem to be very aware of something that is in their pocket, but they're, like, far away, not where you can easily talk to them. And you also catch those two toughs that Anima noticed getting in, like, two or three cars behind you. They're in the back car looking forward, and they just sit down I think Vi's going to mental miss of that to everyone to say, hey, two toughs are following us. I don't know if they're just wanting to report what happens or if they're making sure that everyone goes through, but... You can insight chat. Insight? Okay. 16. You catch one of them. Looks like they're sending a message to someone, but otherwise they seem... Their posture feels relaxed, but they, they're they keeping an eye on things, and they're situated somewhere where they can see, have a clear line of sight down most of the train. That's more of a space that you would say when you want to keep an eye on several people. Vi will tell everyone, hey, I don't know if they're reporting this, but they're in a place where they can just watch multiple people. So I don't know... What's going on exactly, but this is, this is not a great thing. This is not a great situation. They could just be randomly texting, I suppose, but this, this feels like a professional job, so. But they don't know that you know. Yeah. So there is that. Why don't we try to lose them? We don't know if they're just watching us. For everyone. You can always try when you get to the entertainment district. It's more than one way to get to Eclipse. Would an EMP stop the train? Just questions. <laughs> yes, the EMP <laughs> would stop the train and draw a lot of attention to you specifically. What if it was deployed in a stealthy, non. That would. <laughs> Obvious still one. draw a lot of attention. I was gonna wait till we stop anyway, until the train stops. Because Vi said that they're communicating with their with the device, right? Mm. Yes. Just a sim unit. So once we get off the train, I probably read this quietly. I mean, I can at least fry their handles for a little bit while we get off as they make our exit. I mean, I'm not sure if they'll help, but at least that way, with the reporting to won't get any reports for the time being. So. I mean, yeah, but they'll know. I mean... They'll know if someone knows. Yeah. 
they'll know that something's up and that could also be really bad. That and if it messes with everything and not just their stuff, since from what I'm aware an EMP doesn't only affect one or two things, we may have the normal authorities after us as well. So... If they know it was us, so, but like I said, lots of lots of people on here. But I'll hold off. Yeah, I, I get what you're coming from, but I'm not sure that that's a good plan, eh? Save that for maybe the things are starting to go south for it option. What's that got? <laughs> You just hear the voice of someone who taught, uh, who helped teach you the ways of being sneaky. Of say, maybe save the EMP for when things are going real dicey. I don't suppose there was anything that Z might have taught me that would have helped in this situation, right? I mean, he taught you a lot of things how to survive in the underworld, and I think it would be when you know more than when someone's trying to manipulate you and you know about it. Yeah, that's true. You keep that fact close to your chest as long as possible. As long as they think you're playing along, they won't question what you're doing. Okay. Also, some of these people are probably carrying dummy um, devices. That's true as well. You don't know. We don't know who. Hmm. You just know someone is trying to steal something. I think I'll me- mental miss if everyone's saying, I think our best option is to just play along. If they don't know that we know, they'll be less on their guard for traitors to their plan, but... <sighs> I don't know. This could be... There could be dummy devices. We could have a dummy device. I was thinking at one point I could try to... Or one of us could try to... Um, steal the other dev- one, one or more devices from other people, but there's just so much information that's not known, and there was nothing- there was nothing about this so far in the- Even my- people don't talk about heists like this on the Shadow Net, really. Yeah. I would shoot out a text to that person, to the, someone I know, a contact, I'd shoot out a text if they know anything about this. Oh, you're talking about your old contact, the person you haven't talked about since the thing. Yeah. Because I have a contact in that. You have the last way they contacted you with just a casual, like, hey, avoid this area. Because even though you haven't contacted them, they'll just every once in a while you get a message from them, with, like, giving you a heads up of dangerous areas and, like, people not to work with. So they're sending them a message? Asking if they know what's going on. Yeah. There's a bit of a pause, but as the train arrives in the entertainment district, you get a message back. I don't know, but I'll see what I can find. And then another message. It's good to hear from you. You have been listening to Aboard the Opal Star, an Esper Genesis 5e actual play podcast DM'd and produced by Brianna Jean as part of Pseudodim Social, a creative podcast network changing reality one story at a time. Violina is played by Alexis Workman. Anima is played by Casey Glover. Stavios is played by Shan Smith. Balamar is played by Blake Francis. And the theme music, as always, is by Patrick Chester of Chester Studios. If you don't want to wait to see what happens next, you can get early access to our episodes over at patreon.com slash social. If you like our show, please consider leaving us a review on your favorite podcasting app so people can know where to find us. We couldn't do this without your help. To get more information on this or any of our other shows, check out our website at pseudonymsocial.com. <laughs>